Just before the all-new Kia Sorento arrives later this year, Kia Australia is offering the model year 2020. It is pretty much the same as last year's model, but it does remain as a very well packaged and good value proposition in the seven seat SUV market. The design is starting to age a little bit now, especially in contrast with the recently revealed 2021 version. We think it lacks sharpness in some areas, with linear curved panels and not much in the way of attitude, but it is a fuss-free design and very practical. If you go for this top GT line variant though, you do get crisp LED headlights and fog lights, dual exhaust tips, and a set of 19-inch alloy wheels with red painted brakes hiding behind. It's a different story inside. The decor is quite modern, with soft brushed metallic trimmings and neatly contrasting highlights giving it a surprisingly premium look and feel. Up on the dash is a comprehensive touchscreen media interface with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, while the GT line gets awesome sports seats in the front with electric adjustment. You won't be wanting for more legroom in the middle row. This is huge, and there are climate vents and power sockets to keep everyone happy. The space in the third row is also impressive for this class, and you even get cup holders and air conditioning control back here. Boot space is pretty good with all seats up, but flipping down the rear seats opens up much more volume if you need it. In Australia, the Sorento is offered with a petrol V6 and a four-cylinder diesel. However, we think the diesel is the pick as it produces over 100 newton meters more torque. And torque is what you need when you're lugging around a full family. Acceleration is respectable for this class too. This is what it goes like. 